I'm gonna get some food if you guys. Oh. Oh, oh yes, the nothing. You remember um, we could her um, read about the no nothing scene? The no nothing political party? I don't know who watched that movie last year. In, yeah, in America. You only want six of us to be happy. No, I figured people might. Oh, you yeah. But Oh, the egg rolls? I have no idea. I, I, just, have <laughs> you went to I didn't realize that. Right? Yes. I was going to say, they didn't give you serving skills or anything? No, I didn't know. I mean, not. nobody seems to do anything that would merit. I mean, that kind There are big serving skills in the scene one. Oh. Like spoon in there. I was using a little fork, a little rice thing with the between the frogs. Hey, does anyone ever watch the video from the noon session? The what? The video the, that we put on YouTube from the noon session? Today? No, just ever. I was not aware that it existed. Okay. I don't think we've ever, like, you, it's, always, it's, it's, it's always next, like, the well, agenda. Wait, so that means no one looks way. at the agenda. There's an agenda. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and, and so does anyone read the email that we send every week kind of with the agenda and saying what's going on? So I, I does that email me. actually go I out? I didn't I only got one email from you about Does everything go to spam? No. Is that, you guys I, get the describe dot zero, yeah. we're winter yeah, zero. Okay, so what do you think? Okay, about reminding where we're meeting, that's the Yeah, I didn't send an agenda for this week, but previous week. Okay. So we always, I, 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 I try to always do a video and put it up on YouTube on our Open Michigan channel. Um, well, no, it's just, you know, I mean, if you just want to see some of the things that we talk about in the other section. Could have saw the pop quiz and made it this piece. Well, we didn't post it yet. I'm posting the other video right now, but it's not going to be up for like an hour because YouTube takes forever. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're not using it. 300 megabytes takes like well, over an hour. <laughs> so we had um, this pop quiz at our noon session, and we actually taped it to get um, a sense of of where people un understand, like how people understand the describe process and the copyright concepts we've gone over so far. Oh, so I'm we'll sorry. see how you guys compare against them because the noon team was actually pretty good. <laughs>
Progress Clause of the U.S. Constitution, C, the Commerce Clause of the U.S. Constitution, D, the Magna Carta, or E, President Obama's inaugural speech? E. <laughs> That's what the morning group said. So I think it's B. What? said what? Does that talk about the What do we well, got? Wait a minute. It's like to make progress. You have to. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 So, so which one is it? Science and the useful. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with B. D, your final answer is B. Yeah. What does that clause say? I know. I know. I know. So, progress on your part. Four. Profits of cosmic old people. To advance the useful arts and sciences. Yeah, well, to encourage people uh -huh. to make more things so they get, you know, uh, compensation like for their work. Is there like a that you're looking for, or just a more generic? I don't know what's the answer. Well, they could have got half of it. Mm -hmm. To promote progress in the useful arts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing that you guys got to work, like, verbatim. Yeah. Awesome. Well done. <laughs> yeah. You went over the news session <laughs> for that one. And it, what's the second half of it? In science. For how long? How, how long is copyright granted? A limited time. Um, oh. Two years past the death. All right. So the official for progress clause is to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for a limited time to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. So the goal is to advance knowledge, and the how is exclusive rights on creative works for limited time. What are the three areas of concern in the recommended action decision tree? That, that's what you see if you click <coughs> an action link in ORCA. Can you speak up down here? Yeah, but it's really green. More volume. Sorry. <laughs> Pepper in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Karen, can you speak up? I'll sit down. <laughs> so, think of these three areas as kind of the big policy areas that we talked about in the beginning. So what's one that everyone knows? That we just talked about. Like the previous question. <laughs> Why do we have you here? Like what's the big deal? Copyright. Concerns. Copyright. Yes. Right. Intellectual property, copyright. What's the next one? Think about what we have to clear. We have to clear the copyright. We have to clear content. Content is what we're clearing. But what's this, what aspects of the content? Endorsement. Okay. There you go. Endorsement. What's the third one? Third one. My hint this morning was think information policy. <laughs> like what, 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 what do you always study in, in information policy aside from intellectual property? Okay. <laughs> that, Are we clearing it. economics? <laughs> <laughs> Signed something else. 
Yeah. Such as uh, a different licensing? Uh, no, well, I mean, uh, is everything under CC or can somebody do like copyright? Well, for well, G4, like, I want all my stuff to be GPL. We could, but document. But GPL. that won't work for content? That won't work. GPL isn't yeah. meant for, like, GPL documentation. Well, we don't want to use GFDL because it's a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, what if there was a, well, I'm, I'm using yeah. that. For, no, that's, yeah, that's a good like, question. If like, there's a different, if they decide. Are license they compatibility and incompatibility? Or, well, if they, well, no, a more practical question is if, if my professor chooses something different, mm -hmm. how do I know? You know because it's us. Okay. They, yeah. They would have come to us and said, you know, instead of a CC attribution, I'd like a, 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 different, a different arrangement. Sort of like a different version of CC. So, but what we provide faculty and everybody transition participates yeah. is a variation of these. Mm -hmm. So, and, and notice that there's also a, there is an ND that's included inside of Creative Commons, but we don't use it here because we have a strong position well, that suggests ND is non-derivative. So that's what I was going to say is that we have a strong position that people should be able to use the resources and reuse the resources. And if we had a clause in there with the non-derivative component, people have to use it. They can't make additions or changes. You can't even crop an image right. on, under a non-derivative clause. So we, we basically say that wouldn't be open educational resources if we had an ND clause. So we don't allow for it. Right. And there are people though that would, would maybe argue differently, but and that's the reason why we don't want to use like a GFDL because it's it has the verbatim sections clause right. to it, right. which is why there's incompatibility. And on that note, um, sure. so the work that you're doing right now is actually going to be really useful in the next few months when Wikipedia transitions to yep. Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike. It's going to be opening the floodgates for this kind of stuff to be used in Wikipedia. Uh, right now they're using GFDL for all their con content, but they're transitioning in a way. Um, it's just going through the whole like back channel discussions right now, but it'll probably happen in the next few months. So. Also realize again one of the reasons why we're I mean that brings to mind like the idea of why we're capturing individual objects mm -hmm. is because so that people can we have licenses for each one of the objects as well that we have out there so if a faculty member has created a graph or whatever that maybe relates to a subject on Wikipedia somebody can take that specific image that's there and, and put it inside an article or put it somewhere else not just the PowerPoint itself or not just the PDF right. version of it so we, we may be doing a little bit more work on the front side to get all these individual elements but but the point is to make them as reusable and distributed as possible, mm -hmm. so long as they abide by the original right. content creator's choice of license. So. Yeah, so like next time that you're doing a course, you can find images that are CC licensed more easily. All right, cheers. Cheers. Is there any more? Yes, there are okay. 10 questions. <laughs> so, Kevin, what action would you recommend for this object and why? Can you in the back see this? Uh, tell me what it means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even read it. Um, well, what is it, first Trans of all? Yeah, transcription. It's a graph. Okay, so what do we know about graphs? They represent data. They represent not data. Original. They represent data. Very good. <coughs> not original. <laughs> I guess they can be original, but. So, yeah, they, they could be back. original. But they're easily produced. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I guess depending the data, depending on the, on the data correct, that you correct, get, correct. I guess. Well, that's it, more depending on the graph. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you could add expression to a graph, but anyway. But we assume it was not created by the professor because it has the little citation. Right, yep, it's got a citation. It looks like it's from a biomedical or biochemical. Biological. But there's not other context on the page around it, so there's nothing that's like critiquing it, but yet. Mm. You know it's from a That's a great point. <clears throat> so yeah, let's. So we've taken this out of context, and we've said just this object. Let's just say it occurs on a slide alone. So, what do you think you'd do with this? recommended And why? Yeah, first of all, what recommended action? What might one choose for this? Right, she's just saying. Okay, for, yeah, and then. It is a graph, and it's not put in our artistic content, but yet it is from a book. Okay. So we're acknowledging yes. the fact that there's no other critique or any other sure. material around it. Um, but we should be able to use it, because it isn't represented in a different way. It's just the data. It's a graph, easily yeah. reproducible. Well, very well said. You yeah. listened well during our <laughs> graph presentation. <laughs> that was beautiful.
No, so <clears throat> think of it this way. Um, you kind of have to get through the gate of does this merit copyright protection or not. Once you get through that gate and you say yes or no, then you can, if, if you say yes, it does merit copyright protection, then you can say, well, are you making a fair use? So if, if, if that at that first gate we say it's, there's no copyright in this, mm -hmm. then you never even get to the fair use question. contribute at all, right. or I can contribute my content but not put my name on it or whatever, or I can, you know, have my name on it or whatever, and then there's a signature at the bottom for their, to get right. their license, yeah. whatever. So basically this is the OER permission form in, right. in, a, in a very, sort of, it is a toned down legal document, but it still has kind of a, a, a look and a feel of a legal document. It's the one that you guys signed when you decided to That's say, hey, I, I'll, if I do create content, the same sort of document though for, for in-class use we can say for the work that I produce here for this specific project or whatever I'm comfortable using this license and enter yes attributing my name or no remaining anonymous. I, I think so. You didn't either? So right. the students get to choose the license? The students as well? They do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How, so if you do, if the student chooses to stay anonymous and they publish out in their CC by license it's what I mean, yeah. uh -huh. give them? The student yeah. one does. You know, digital government factor. Then they, they just, then the, the attribution is student one or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Student one, SI 522, yeah. Because we're still allowed to keep a record yeah. right. of who contributed the work. And with, with the CC license specifically, like, it says there, you reference the work how you're told to reference the right. work. So you're told to reference the work, student one from digital, yeah. whatever, and that's how you reference it. Right. And this is the same way for faculty. There are some in the faculty in the medical school who wish to remain anonymous, not because they don't, they're embarrassed of their work, but because they don't <laughs> want to take credit for it. Because it's a lot, of, and a lot of times it's a lineage of, of, of work that's put into one PowerPoint. Right. So they'd say, hey, you know what? Just make it defaulted to the department. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, basically saying, fa you know, faculty of the Department of Anesthesia. Right. Well, it wasn't just me. Yeah. Right. So that's, and that's, <coughs> the, that's not necessarily the anonymous clause so much. It's just that let's, you know, let's not falsely attribute it. 
Yeah, I'm surprised that you yeah. would be safe and keep your job with it. <laughs> group has to come to a consensus. Yeah. Yep. And there are ways we can think, think about bribery and other <laughs> yeah. arm wrestling. Actually, no, arm wrestling. wrestling. Just tell it to send them to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do all the dirty work. Yeah. Please like? yeah. Oh, we are. So in right. case it be yeah. is dirty. Be is dirty. <laughs> okay. it's, it's dirty. <laughs> all right, so moving on to question nine. <laughs> the same as doing what? Recommending actions, okay. right? Recommending okay. actions and doing clearing. So yeah, that would be five. Uh, since we're still going back, <laughs> let's stop going backwards. <laughs> okay, so, so going forward from one to seven, there's one introduction, two training, and then we still have three and four. Oh, you have to get the materials, the professor, uh, information, and all that was it. So organized materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's also in the licensing and all that. Mm -hmm. That's also the organization. And then what do you do between having the material and like clearing them? You have to do this negative thing. Mm -hmm. You have to analyze the content and capture the object. That's number two. Alright, let's look at this. Yeah. So, so in case you got confused with that dyslexic order right there. <laughs> Wait a second. Does everyone know where the task list is? Yeah. Okay, so you've seen it on the wiki. Okay, it it's just to be sure. It's on the internet. <laughs> so one, tra one introduction, team. two just training, right three organized materials, four analyzed content, five recommend actions or clear materials, six edit materials, and seven publish. And then our last question: At which step in the task? license so I can't edit the materials but other people are you should, we're all probably recommending actions but that's simultaneous sometimes with analyzing the content mm -hmm. <coughs> so it's, it's actually a cycle right so you should be uh, editing materials through week five because we're actually at week six now you should have week, weeks one through five materials and then begin the cycle with week six this week who's on week six we don't have that Two people in the afternoon session mm -hmm. that, are, that are on week six. You guys are well, effectively, right we're now. on week six. We're on week four's content. That's all the content that we have. <laughs> yeah, some of my group has all of the lectures already. Yeah. But yeah, so if you guys aren't on week six, week four, and you're still on week one or two, you got to talk to us because <laughs> we got to figure something out then. I know some people are going through it. Differently, like we're not editing materials for Brendan's. We're going through and doing all of the clearing first because we have access to all the material. In the same case for five and nine, but but if it, we're doing sort of the traditional route of getting, capturing, editing, and we're still way back on week one or two, so let's make sure we get caught up to week four if we can. Because otherwise, we're going to be scrambling near the end, and nobody's going to be happy. And Matt's going to have to get.
just more work work sessions with you guys helping you to get caught up to week five and week six and editing materials. And then we're going to go over our editing materials for you guys. This is still recording. <laughs> 